Good evening and welcome to Weekend News with me, Judith Beckley. Coming up in this edition, President Bill and Dr. Samuel Kamara have vowed to maintain peace in Sierra Leone after the elections. Vice President Dr. Julie Jalo makes a familiarization visit to his style office. And Sierra Leone is still struggling to nurture its democracy. All these stories and more line up in this edition of NISA. For our first story, following his election victory, President Bill has thanked Sierra Leoneans for their support in ensuring that he is now President of the Republic. At the National Stadium in Freetown, thousands of Sierra Leoneans celebrated the victory of President Bill and hoped that every Sierra Leonean, regardless of party affiliation, will support the country to succeed. President Bill, on the other hand, thanked Sierra Leoneans for the support and thank and asked for their continued support to the progress of the country. He said he is the president for the entire country and that he will pursue national cohesion. The president also met with a cross section of the APC executive and the former flag bearer of the party, Dr. Samuel Kamal, to discuss inter-party peace. How must he has more? electing him the president of the country. He told the gathering that it has been a difficult journey since 2012, but they arrived safely with the support of citizens who wanted change. President Bill noted that he will work hard for that change to be reflected in the lives of the people of Sierra Leone, calling on them to be law-abiding and deviate from violence. The president thanked the outgoing president, Ernest Bai Kuruma, the Sierra Leone People's Party executive, the campaign team headed by Dr. Ali Kaba, and supporters from different political parties that voted him. I don't say thank you to God. No. I want to say thank you to the people of Sierra Leone. So now all, the one that will vote for me, and even the one that will not vote for me. For the one that will vote for me, thank you, thank you. For the one that will not vote for me, I say thank you to you. Because of you, I know I have to work harder. And I am going to work even harder. I know by the end of the first term, the one that will not vote for me, I will not convince them enough to make them vote for me and I to win a number. Vice President Dr. Mohamed Jul Dejalo also commended the electorate who decided through the ballot box, adding that before the campaign, the president made key promises and the need to deliver, especially in the area of education, which targeted primary schools, GSS, and senior secondary school, which is free. The First Lady Fatima Biu thanked the people of Sierra Leone for electing her husband as the president of Sierra Leone and called on them to continue supporting him to work for the country. Before the Victory Festival at the National Stadium in Freetown, the All People's Congress Party executive headed by the contender Dr. Samura Kamara paid a courtesy call on President Bill at his Juba Hills residence to congratulate him and also raise concerns about the recent spate of violence in communities after election. Dr. Samura Kamara appealed to the president to make sure that there is peaceful coexistence among the supporters of the two political parties. Normally, I Together, our utterances for movement and actions go a long way in trying to, to 
stop to minimize and totally wipe out these unfortunate occurrences. So, this will be just the beginning of this interparty interaction. Critically, responsibly, find solutions. It's not only to complain, but also to find solutions together and take actions together. It's going to be President Bill thanked them for the visit and assured them of looking into their concerns rate so far. Let me state this categorically that no Sierra Leone should suffer because he or she belongs to any party. It is our right to belong to the parties that we choose and no one, absolutely no one, should shed blood for politics. Violence should not be part of our politics and I condemn it entirely. Anyone who is engaged in violence against any other citizens of the citizen of this country should face the law squarely, should be held responsible and punished. Coming back to the infrastructure, I have hardly been out of the, my house um, since taking the reins of power. I've had complaints, I've heard about the, the incidents you're talking about, and I've called the infrastructure that we, the, the, the security infrastructure that we just inherited from you. Their work should be continuous. SABC TV News are in Freetown. How are Mosuri reporting? Sierra Leone is still struggling to nurture its democracy. The room for accommodation for anyone's political belonging is yet to be realized as attacks and reprisals after elections appear to be the game of the day. Yet all Sierra Leoneans belong to the same land, irrespective of political affiliations. Besides other attacks in the country, is the post-election damage reported by one Bokari Dabo at Mendembu Godrich, who reported the latest abuse of his rights. Here's the report. During the politics term, the election term. Then just after the, 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 election, the, the, the result, the attack me now. See, and see me, they don't win power. Now, we we move out, we go push them, we can get them. Thank you for the motor car. Call a one arm, you know, tick. Now, I can report me to it, but I can't do it, man, it's man, yeah, man. To be surprised, a person at that bar, some people in the way, the cost, cost, the cost, and as I go to say, yes, for food, it is, 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 it is. From there, we don't go now, that's what they call me, see, group of people in town. They come to come inside the factory, but you don't want to take a book. When they call me, I'm not coming, I'm just taking the police. Why can't the police police the game of the boat? Drivers only. I tell them, say, hey, I come around to a man and they're around me. The morning this morning, I don't dare around the system of the camera, I don't see the glass, we're not going to fit medicine for me, for the law. On the way going, we are going inside the ambush. For them, they're going to me. How much o'clock? Um, around this um, half past seven, going to eight. Before I see the, the groups, the, the, the people that before me, I decide for turn for that come back to the Build the BMB back. Boom, 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 they walk the motor car. I, I, I don't go in. I can pack before the, the, the factory back. I pack in the car, I see them, I walk good on. Then can inside, can pull the water them, pull, pull to them, you see, and come inside the office. Look, right? Yeah, and you see where you are going inside, you see the but generally, we, we cannot sell before we lock out the safe and then we put the money for no more to sell and waiting. Waiting inside the safe, the neighbor will do nothing. And the way they outside, we will not consign it with the sales money. Okay. You see? So we want to sell the chair, chair, look this, the chair. 
Mais il doit m'écrire pour la police. Il doit la police. Il doit la police. La police n'est pas investiguée. Il doit me dire un ou deux witnesses de l'année dernière. Il doit me faire un statement. Ou il doit comprendre qu'il doit même vandaliser le motocar. Oui, mais le motocar est dans le dos. Il est là et dans le dos. Je vais vous donner un peu de temps pour le président. Je vais vous donner un peu de temps pour entrer à la salle. As long as nous n'avons pas l'élection, nous n'avons pas l'élection. Nous n'avons pas l'élection. And I believe that since the first day, I hear the speech where he say, no one knows they are born for law. So if they do this, I don't know. Then if you want to chat, when they call Jajua, in Canada, they say, before, I forgot on exile by force. I forgot lock everything. So I'm able to understand really what's in the ground. So as the case. As the case, then the police and they investigate now. What do you require? What do you go and let the government, the new governments, No, and take into consideration. Wall, not just for SFPP, it's for everybody. Right? I want them to send them um, security and come, may the law take in cause. May the law take in cause. Because the law is for you all, not for one group of people. That was one Bokari Dabo at Bendebu Godri. Godri, who reported the latest abuse of his guides. President Julius Madabio and the presidential candidate of the All People's Congress Party, Dr. Samoa Kama, have vowed to continue to maintain peace in Sierra Leone after the elections. The vow was made after the service at the St. Luke's Catholic Church at Wilberforce. Hawa Mosley has the details. Joining worshippers at the St. Luke's Catholic Church will be forced in Freetown. Worshippers praise the Lord for President Bio and the presidential candidates of the All People's Congress Party to worship together. Reverend Father Vincent Davis described President Bio and Dr. Samura Kamara as brothers who have been worshipping at the same church and that should not end because of politics. Adding that in any race, there must be a winner. Father Davis informed other worshippers that he was pleased with President Bill's message at the SAPP Victory Festival at the National Stadium, saying that he is a president for all Sierra Leoneans, but not only supporters of the Sierra Leone People's Party. He prayed for the two brothers so that the Almighty God to continue to unite them. God has been so good to sacred humanity that he has never relented to do his duty as God Almighty. When we look at the Old Testament, we see how God our Father, how the people of Israel, on many occasions turned away from the path that God had outlined for them. But for each time they came to their, their senses and they asked for forgiveness, God was always merciful. I think this is what God has done for us as a nation. Because each of us will agree that a few weeks ago, Salom man, Salom people, they had they asked the Medina the truth. We were afraid for many reasons. True or false? True. Yes, many of us were afraid. Why? We were afraid because we thought violence will break out that will consume us like Ebola did. That will consume us as our rebel war did. But thanks to this God of divine mercy, who so quickly turned things around, and we should continue, each of us, being a Muslim, being a Catholic, to always turn to this God and acknowledge his greatness in our lives. President Bill thanked the Almighty God for guiding him thus far and commended the church for organizing such a peaceful service, adding that he is proud of the Catholic Church and he will not deceive them. He will continue his normal service at St. Luke's Church 
appealing to the church to organize a Thanksgiving service for him as well. I'm humbled by your presence today, and I know you have been praying fervently for us. But I ask you to continue to pray for us and this nation. This is a humongous task. I can't do it without the rest of the nation. And of course, I can't do it without divine wisdom, strength, and health. And therefore, I ask you to continue to pray for me and my brother and for this nation. Amen. Thank you. I'm very grateful. Dr. Samura Kamara also commended the church for organizing such a wonderful service for them in continuation of mediating peace for them. But as Catholic brothers, they will make sure that peace reigns. This has been a contest among worshippers of the same parish and the St. Luke's parish in particular is victorious. Before, during, and even after, you've heard us in your prayers, in the silent talks, you've received your goodwill messages. And we cherish all of this because as these prayers, messages of goodwill, it has strengthened our soul. And we look forward to the high spirits which all of you have demonstrated today, and which I believe we continue to demonstrate, to pray for our brother and his administration that the rulers arise. After the service at the St. Luke's Church, President Bio also joined supporters of the Syrian People's Party to pay their last respects to one of the Julius Mada Bio campaign team secretary and also the secretary of West West District of the Syrian People's Party, Tijan Mansari, who was laid to rest at the Kintom Cemetery in Freetown. Difficult moment for all, but the first thing we are to ask is for me, God. Grant a merciful judgment, we say later. Amen. So, Amen. 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 If you've been there alive today, now such a small man, we're not going to even see him in the crowd. But he's been big at heart. And although I've been a small man, which he be to do for me and this party, I've been a big, big thing. No. No. God, the say we say, now he get the greatest power. They are there before now as the president. If I've been getting away for make me this man not go down today, if now one week self, if I don't be God, for make it alive, for make he see the benefit of what he suffer for up to the day where he die. But I miss myself, who oh, don't give this big power, I don't get that power there. I don't even get power for question him. So the best thing I can do. I for say, Papa God, sorry for this soul. He worked hard, slavishly, for make Usai Atimap today, make a rich day. You know, then I for reap the benefit, or for even enjoy. But Papa God, may you get the reason, and you know they ever go wrong. But as the master will be the work for till he died for the past ten years, I did beg you for making sorry for his soul um, and grant a merciful judgment. Inshallah. SBC TV News I in Freetown, how I must be reporting. As a measure to address political violence in a country. President Julius Madabio has initiated a committee comprising the leadership of the Ceylon People's Party, SLPP, and the All People's Congress, APC Party. The Cos Party Committee is being instructed by the President to work in concert with the Ceylon Police to investigate all complaints of violence and intimidation 
and to also ensure that the law is applied with full force against anyone found culpable. The initiative is said to have emanated from a meeting with a delegation of the APC party led by Dr. Samoa Kamara. President Bio is therefore calling on Sierra Unions to support the maintenance of good governance and to adhere to the dictates of the law. A release issued from the office of the president states that contrary to frivolous claims making rounds on social media on arrest of officials of government, no warrants of arrest has been issued against any government officer. Hard work can prompt action among key deliverables that must be characteristics of all ministries and departments. That was the message of President Julius Madabiu to permanent secretaries and heads of departments at the Radisson Blue Hotel Aberdeen in Freetown. The president was firm in stating that the success of any government largely rests with an effective and efficient service, civil service. President Bio later met with the German ambassador, British High Commissioner and representatives of the Women's Situation Room. As Harmo reports, the interface with civil servants and other key stakeholders are part of President Bio's measures to announce a strong governance structure in the country. With President Julius Madabu in Freetown, President Bio informed the government officials that his government is a new direction and that blame games should be over now. He said that he has made key promises to deliver to make Sierra Leone a better nation, adding that he was also in Sierra Leone to end the Ebola epidemic, which was a big challenge for the country as a whole. You see, when we call permanent secretary, they say permanent. I am not permanent. <laughs> and that is where the difference is. You are permanent, I have a five-year mandate. If I don't deliver, the people won't deliver. And I need them to deliver to get the second mandate. So, I want the permanent secretaries, the civil service, and all other people in the public service to understand if I push you a little harder. Because you are there permanently, and I know I only have five years, less than five years now. <laughs> so don't be surprised. I don't have a boot, I'm not going to kick. But I can give a nod. <laughs> and then I will push. And I'll push really hard. But I know you are up to the task, we are serial leaders. We have risen to so many challenging occasions in this country. And that is why I took this opportunity to challenge you again. I was here when we were pain. As dangerous as it is, we took the challenge. And I know how we dealt with it. Yes, we had support from outside, but we also saw our commitment. I saw how the local authorities, the military, the police, everybody, when we are determined as a nation, we are very strong. And that is the strength I need. The head of civil service, Anesuru, commended President Bio for the meeting with the civil service and heads of departments and agencies. The president is not a newcomer. The head of civil service briefed the president about developments made so far in the civil service in capacitating employees and the introduction of performance contracts, which has been done every year to keep employees on their toes. A very good start for any head of state to call the implementing uh, people in, in, every, in every government because if you don't talk to people you won't know how best to serve them but for me this uh, meeting opens up the way because there are a lot of doubts in people's minds some are afraid because he was a, a military man I said well they are not going to be shot there everybody will be there to watch he's a gentleman I know his family I worked in Bond District 
and uh, Chief Tali was one of my best friends as paramount chief. I know he comes from a very good family, I come, but sometimes the environment can influence you. So uh, those, well, those are things not <laughs> for record. But what I'm saying is he, he seems to have a good heart. We hope he will continue with that. And the fact that he has called us to tell us he wants us to support him, I think it's a very good start. And uh, we have assured him that we are going to support him, give him the full support to make sure we improve on the infrastructure, we improve on the human development index and all that kind of thing because our country is still at the bottom there of the index, although a lot of good strides have taken place over the years. But we still need improvement. We need somebody who will come and continue the good work of the former president, Dr. Anes Baikuma, so that the country will develop. In another engagement, representatives of the Women's Situation Room also paid a courtesy call to commend President Bill for his election as President of Sierra Leone. Head of Peace and Conflict Department of FBC, who is also part of the Women's Situation Room, Memona Suprat, informed President Bill about the meeting with his contender, Dr. Samora Kamara of the APC, and they have for their church St. Luke's to dialogue between two of them after a church service. She noted that their concern now is the space of violence in some communities which they said needed to be addressed now and start dialogue between supporters of the two political parties in their communities. The elections have actually um, put the country, you know, in a difficult situation, no which nobody happens. Uh, my own um, suggestion would be that um, as a way forward, if we can um, immediately find a way of, convenience, of convening a national post-elections dialogue meeting, where we can start to talk about how do we build the peace in terms of uh, what is happening, what is happening. Now, we have seen an existing deficit in the past, which we not been able to address. And what is happening now is that uh, we, we actually don't have infrastructure for building pieces really, with regard to how do we actually engage. So, so my, my thinking is that we need to take steps in consolidating, especially what the women have been doing, because if you look around, um, it's actually um, very much um, decentralized. There's no cohesive way in which we can be able to address some of them. Other women appealed to the president not to forget the 30% quota of equal representation of women in governance. President Bio commended the women for their efforts and hard work during the electioneering process as the situation room was served as a place of complaint. Adding that the former heads of state they are able to make several mediations before leaving the country. He said that the women in the situation room served as mothers and addresses each and every complaint they received from the public. President Madabio acknowledged that he will make sure that various issues affecting women are addressed, especially in the area of economic empowerment and education. Definitely there is a provision in my manifesto for national cohesion. I have seen this way ahead of the, before even the election and we, we, we are going to work towards that. Maybe we'll start with um, the conference like you suggested. Let's see what works best um, so that we can actually keep this country together. The German ambassador and the British High Commissioner also paid a courtesy call on the president. SABC TV News I in Freetown, how are we reporting? Meanwhile, the president has also pledged to keep the army happy and his institution a model, a model that is worthy of emulation. Her support. This is the first meeting held by the president, retired Brigadier General Julius Madabio, with the senior officers of the Arslav after he was elected as president on the 4th April. This meeting was not only to acquaint himself with the Arkslav, but to give hope to the senior officers in the Arkslav mentioned in the alleged assassination of retired Brigadier Julius Madabio during the electionary process of his full commitment and good relationship with the Republic of the Sierra Leone Armed Forces, Arkslav. 
Among those witnessed the meeting were top officials from the Sierra Leone People's Party, SLPP, the Chief of Defense Staff, Lieutenant General Brian Massisei, the Deputy Chief of Defense Staff, Major General David Taluva, Commander Joint Force Major General Sule Sisei, and other senior officers. The Chief of Defense Staff, Lieutenant General Brian Massisei, congratulated the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Retired Brigadier General Julius Madabiel, on his appointment as President for the Republic of Sierra Leone. The Chief of Defense Staff informed the President's bill about several strives made to keep the Arts Lab a political and professional based on its constitutional role. He also told the President that the Arts Lab is always willing and ready to give its unflinching support to him in order to accomplish his goals. I wholeheartedly congratulate His Excellency the President of the Republic of Sierra Leone and Commander in Chief of the Arts Lab. Brigadier General Retired Julius Madabio, Grand Commander of the Republic, for being elected as President of the Republic of Sierra Leone and Commander in Chief of the Arsenal. Sir, you are welcome on board again, sir. The officers, men and women of the Arsenal, present and not present here, pledge their unflinching and unreserved loyalty to you as our President of the Republic of Sierra Leone and our Commander-in-Chief and the people of this great nation. Always count on the Arslav's support and loyalty to you as you drive this nation to the new direction of a safe, peaceful, and stable environment and inclusive growth for this nation. His Excellency the President and Commander-in-Chief, sir, the Air Staff has undergone a series of transformations with huge investments of domestic and international resources ploughed into the force to make it cohesive and always demonstrate long-lasting commitment and professionalism at all times. The President, retired Brigadier General Julius Madabio, applauded officers' presence and confirmed with them that he belongs to the Arg Slav. He said he could not afford to start his first day in office without meeting with senior officers of the Arg Slav, more especially the Army being his first profession. Retired Brigadier General Julius Madabio, appealed strongly to the Arslav not to consider the press statement that was released alleging that some senior officers were planning to assassinate him. The president added that he was not around during the release of such a press statement. He, however, assured members of the Arslav and all those whose names were mentioned to take away the fear and finished with the stigma. I want to start by saying that um, there was a little mistake. Um, uh, at the height of our campaign, not campaign because the campaign was over, when few the names of few officers, officers were mentioned in the um, press statement. Unfortunately, I wasn't around. I got to know about it after the, the incident. I took on those who made that mistake because for me that was a very serious mistake. And as the flag bearer then of the Sierra Leone People's Party, I take full responsibility for that. And I want to assure all of those officers whose names we have mentioned that they should fear, they should fear, they shouldn't fear at all that I will go or my party or this government will go after them. That was an allegation, and we don't have any I will talk to, to it to this point. After all, I have not been assassinated. <laughs> <laughs> and therefore, I have deliberately not spoken about you or what we can do together. But this is where I belong. This is the only place I call home in terms of profession. He added that his presence was to lay a foundation that will rebrand the army from the stereotype of being referred to as a place for dropouts. President Bio said with his credentials, people will recognize the army as a gentleman profession. 
He instilled confidence and trust in the officers and promised to work with the Axlav so that they will be the happiest group of people in Sierra Leone. The meeting was climaxed with a confirmatory statement from the Chief of Defense Staff that all names mentioned of alleging to assassinate the President during the election period are now all right. Judith Beckley reporting for SNBC News R. As the new government begins to take charge of the owning of the states, the Vice President, Dr. Julia Jallo, has paid a courtesy call on the former Vice President, Dr. Victor Boca Rifu. The new Vice President also met with staff in the Vice President's office. Here's the story. Since the swearing in on Wednesday, this is the first time the new Vice President, Dr. Mohamed Jule Jallo, is visiting the office that he will be occupying for the next five years. Like a new student, Dr. Mohamed Jule Jallo's visit to his office will give him an insight of what is ahead as he takes over as the new Vice President. The outgoing Vice President, Dr. Victor Bokarifo, welcomed the new Vice President, Dr. Mohamed Jule Jallo, and called on staff of the office to give him an unflinching loyalty. He reiterated his support for the new government and congratulated President retired Brigadier Julius Madabio on assuming the mantle of leadership. This is the Vice President of Sierra Mr. Jule Jallo. The government don't change me. I mean, I, I call the president, President Bill, about 40 minutes after I don't sign as president. That should be the example I want everybody <coughs> for sure. You go to that corner, you say you don't recognize government, I do not say. The government don't change. You forgive the government, you are unflinching support and loyalty. Now, the one side we all did, the left, the right, and we all get the country. So, now for sure, unflinching loyalty and support to the government of the day. We can work in party politics to them. Yeah, now for serve the government of the day. Vice President Dr. Mohamed Jule Jallo said he will continue to tap from the experience of the former vice president. He said as a government, they want to deliver on their flagship programs, but for them to succeed, they need an efficient and functionable civil service. But uh, more importantly, you know, <coughs> I they look forward to for working with the team. Today, His Excellency the President get a meeting with all permanent secretaries and heads of uh, services. Uh, he gave out the media ability to an only for Peter. He reassured them of his commitment to work with the public service. He underlined the necessity for a new direction, the necessity for a more, more disciplined, efficient, and forward-looking public service. Uh, his Excellency said, don't underline a very important factor we, the President will talk about today, the question of timing, timeliness, because we run the campaign on major flagship program. I will tell most of the supporters then and the colleagues and say, throughout this campaign, we will go any side. At least I don't take nothing less than very close to over half a million pictures with people. And not only because I find them take picture, but because people in the expect sale for deliver, that the expectations. You could find out, say, before the excellency Kaya, they will take pictures of them. But maybe if you can want a few pictures, you get. Because in the group, the people who always they come, the people they expect much from you, then they be so excited. His excellency underline them to be just now. It's a way they can they clap for you. Say, if you not take them away, they go then people they clap for you. Say, now they go stone you. So that they like very good piece of advice. Because there's very huge expectations to deliver particularly on the flagship programs. Vice President Dr. Mohamed Jule Jallo said government is aware of the youth tax ahead, but they are well positioned to address them. 
Meanwhile, the Secretary to the Vice President, Dr. Julius Sandy, thanked the outgoing Vice President, Dr. Victor Bokaifo. He said his relationship with staff has been cordial. Vice President Dr. Mohamed Jule Jalo also performed Juma prayers at the Fuller Central Mocks. I want to say, on behalf of His Excellency the President of the Republic, Hotel Nidama, and the people of Sierra Leone, Hotel Nidama, for the way we election and pass. For news hour in. To end the news, a recap of the main points. President Bill and Dr. Samoa Kamara have vowed to maintain peace in Sierra Leone after the elections. Vice President Dr. Jul De Jalo has made a familiarization visit to a star in office. And Sierra Leone is, is still struggling to nurture its democracy. That's all in this edition of News R. On behalf of my news editor, Ibrahim Mansouri, I am Judith Beckley. Thanks for your time. Good night.